in. Hello. <clears throat> Do I have a voice? <clears throat> I think my larynx is evaporating out of my esophagus, <laughs> if that's how it works. Sorry, we haven't been YouTubing. It's been hot. We got a heat wave. I keep saying this. It's either hot or cold every time we discuss, right? But that's where we're at. Very busy. Uh, we made some progress on the little jewel. Not working on it yet because it's out there in the sun and it's hot. But uh, a fella named Dave said, dude, I got your steering box. Check this out. He's up in Reno. Went to the local pick and pull part thing. And he got this out of a Chevy Express van. So it's cool. Power steering box, GM. Uh, the primary difference is it's mounted fairly vertical. And the rotation of the pitman arm is opposite of what the little jewel pickup truck chassis has. So uh, that one rotates in a way that's different than this. So it's hard to get into at the moment without explaining the other one. But this will work. He set up the whole kit, got the U-joint, steering shaft end, and then this. We're going to have to create some kind of coupler, the steering arrangement between the, uh, between the steering linkage is just a little bit different. So whether we heat this, bend it, modify it, that's to be discussed. But the good news is this thing is ready to go. came from a decent vehicle. Thanks, man. The two hundred dollar. Well, it was like a hundred and change with shipping and everything. So pretty affordable option. I'll have to make a mounting plate for the bolts, but it's the standard kind of GM looking thing. Three bolts. I'll make a big plate with some standoffs and bolt it on. So that's cool. Very cool. Also got a whole bunch of other cool stuff in the mail. Let me just start off by saying. Glittering UFO shifter knob, right? Super cool. Yeah, pretty groovy. Fella makes these. Chris Bader sent it over here. Mm -hmm. That's going to go on that project right there, but we're not talking about that project. Did you say George the Glass Works? George the Glass Man. George the Glass Man. Look and at that. He thing. has a YouTube. He sent the shifter knob also. Yes. Check that out. A little Very billet cool. aluminum turned thing. Thank you. The cool little glass shifter knob. There's a lot of talent out there. Let me tell you. Yeah, and he has a whole YouTube where he shows how he blows glass. I don't know the name of the YouTube, but I will put the link in the comments. And I bet you do know who we have to thank for our groovy necklaces that Corey brought over. <laughs> house yeah vintage design vintage. house or something we'll put that link too yes that's how uh that's how that's george the glass man george and diane yes from money illinois i mean monet <laughs> money that's my old stomping grounds ish kind of i'm from uh, illinois i'm from kankakee, kankakee the greater kankakee area the kankakee valley so okay. sorry, I'm not working today on this camera. I got another camera standing by to do some other work. Somebody else sent me. What kind of magazines do they send you? Stack of hot rod magazines <laughs> with a lot of Volkswagen information. So I got to do some reading. <laughs> 50 horse, oh, 50 percent horsepower. So that adds up to 25 horsepower in a Volkswagen, but. So this new Very project cool. I'm building actually isn't a Volkswagen. That will be on the Motor Trend full custom garage. Yeah. We're still filming. A lot of people are asking about that. And we're still doing YouTube. So yes, it's all happening. Things take time. The three T's. Also, I want to thank Corey. You'll find him on Insta. He just posted. He bought the Starlux, the Type 3 station wagon with the Studebaker Square. nose. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, he picked that up. Thanks, man. He's going to finish that, which is cool because I'm not really the guy that wants to polish and detail a car, <laughs> except if it's off-road capable out here. So that's good news. We got cash to invest in our projects. That's how right. it works. We just flip them. I'm not looking for big bucks for my stuff. I'm not talking about prices online or anywhere publicly. 
but yeah, we came to a deal and now that red bug is going to go into action. And so is little jewel. We got some funds to further the mission. That car needs tires. We got some wheel adapters. Little jewel needs some other stuff, but we're grooving on it. It's working. In the midst of a heat wave. It's supposed <laughs> to end next week. I mean, right now it's 103. It's what, 11 a.m.? Yeah. But it's not crazy like Phoenix, Arizona weather here, but uh, 118 was our high last week. So that's Phoenix comparable. But we get a nice breeze here. Yeah, with the doors open. But we don't, like uh, the port cool I don't use because we're on a well. And I just prefer a fan when it's this hot and you get that cold breeze. It's just, we just work mornings and evenings and that's what's up. Right now it's morning. It's about 1030. Yeah. So I had a couple other interesting offers online. Um, a lot of people have asked about those eye muffs, the ear muff and glass combo. So George, who is the creator of those, sent us an uh, update. We're going to be selling those in our Shopify store. Uh, it's not online right now because we were doing pop-up sales with t-shirts. So these are going to get here and then we'll have a special deal for our viewers. Yes. As I understand. And they're the ones that aren't the Bluetooth. These they're will be the standard the issue orange, ones, orange ones without all the electrics. Yeah. So that's what I use every day. They work awesome. Um, another opportunity that was presented to me is with this uh, welding company. It's called Arc Captain. They're on Amazon and they want to create a heavy influence in the YouTube advertising genre. I'm not getting paid from them. They just said, hey, we want to send you our tool and then see how it works for you. It's a lot like those cat grinders and uh, drills, all the cordless stuff. They just sent them to me. I'm running them. They work awesome. Uh, I don't, oh, the cat, the cordless Yeah, ones. I don't get paid to advertise these. There's nothing in it for me except the tool, but I'm just saying, like, I beat the heck out of my stuff. I drop it on the floor. I use it. Uh, that's good stuff, what we're going to find out. I've used the same welder for 20 years since I started. Same model, but uh, they said, hey, check out our little unit here. It, I thought it would be cool to try out because it, it costs $500 on Amazon. That's, that's a really competitive price. I turned it on yesterday. It was a little difficult to figure out how to program it because it's digital and I'm caveman. But they have online video and I'm watching that. But I was able to start welding sheet metal with it and it works. I don't know what to say about that. But the, uh, the big benefit I'm reading about, for 500 bucks, this thing, you can get an accessory spool gun. So potentially you can MIG weld aluminum with it. It comes with a TIG torch, so you can TIG weld mild steel or stainless. It's not AC, so it doesn't do aluminum TIG. And it does standard MIG weld, you know, steel spool or stainless. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's super lightweight, first impression. I was able to actually lift it from the post office. Yeah, so <laughs> it looks like every MIG welder, I put the instructions in here, but... It looks like every other MIG welder I've seen. Super simple. Um, we'll find out if it holds up. I'm not trying to shine over anything on this. We're going to see what it's about. And uh, as I understand, that's what they want. They were like, hey, congratulations on in six months creating 50 something thousand subscribers. And they were like, what we can offer you is like a discount code if anybody who sees your review of it and wants to get this they'll have a link that you can shop with a discount uh, one thing i liked already was the welding helmet they gave me <laughs> you needed a new one my other welding helmet was so filthy and I, i'm just like that like i just use the stuff up i'm not like glamorous about oh it's everything's got to be clean but this thing is super light which is cool it adjusts it's got all the switches etc and I didn't have to, the thing I liked most about it was I didn't have to do anything. I took the sticker off and put it on my face and it worked. That's good news. I don't know what they cost, but I'm sure it's like in the, in the low, low market price genre they seem to be going for. So, I mean, $500 welder, we're going to find out. Oh, yeah. You got a lot of building to do. Yeah. And I was using the smaller 
one 10 volt welder for all of my sheet metal work because I was able to run the 0.023 wire. A lot of people ask me about that. I, I usually use two machines, one with like a 030 or 035 in the bigger machine, and then the smaller one for sheet metal, I like 023 or 025. In this, it's metric, so it's 0.6 millimeter or something. That's the little thing that I'm struggling with too, because I'm just learning the metrics. American system. mutt, right? So I'm using the small wire which 023 inch and 0.6 millimeter. So yeah, I got a couple parts on order for this. I had to order the proper tips for the small wire. I was using the larger tip, it's still welded, but I'm just waiting on the right stuff. So we got some family in town. Jamie's gonna be busy vacationing. <laughs> Where are you going, to the beach? Uh, I'm going to LA tomorrow to hang out with my good friend Lara. Go do some vintage. Speaking of reviews, shopping. we went to the Roosevelt Hotel on Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. A little expensive for lunch, but it's a cool scene. Very cool. Yeah. If you're ever touring the Strip, the, the Boulevard of a Stars, nice little oasis right there on that madness. It's across from that. Grauman's Chinese theater, so it's yeah. pretty neat. You can go in, there's a pool in the back, it's a dimly lit lobby. It's just a cool it's scene. I never cool never knew anything about it. So living in Los Angeles for 20 something years, learn yeah. something new every day. So we're going down there and then Ventura Beach next week. Yeah. Right, staying right on the beach. Somebody gave me another skateboard deck. We're getting stuff all over the place. Yeah. Thank you all. Everyone, we're so humbled <laughs> by it. It's kind of crazy. It's weird. We go to the, so we live in Mojave, right? And the post office is just like, there's never anybody there, right? He knows me by the first name. He's like, hey, Jamie. There's like a pile of boxes. <laughs> yeah. So this wasn't mailed to us, but I was at a car show and a dude was like, so cool. You know you want it, right? Oh, yeah. That's a car show we went to in Reno. It's a Roscoff reproduction, but still, it's cool. That's so cool. Yeah. That's about my age group right there. So, uh, yeah, we got money for the bug. I'm going to order some tires. There it is out here. Yeah, let's look at We're it. Not, I'm not going out in the sun. Yeah, I, didn't bring, I have the umbrella over there. There's little Jewel waiting patiently. She is. In She's the heat. Hanging out. This bug I haven't touched. Anybody need a horse's head? <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm going to uh, do some work on the other projects. Let's come over this way a little bit so you can see your cute little face. So I'm going to do some other work on the other projects and uh, order some parts for the bug. <clears throat> try to get my voice back and we're on to the next. Oh, Corey also dropped off a different Baja nose for the red bug. So we have the early style and the late style. Oh, he did? And we'll decide that. Yeah, I trade him some parts. I had some rims and stuff. So, so this is the nose we were talking about, that sketch with Johnny Jalopy, if you're following on Insta or Facebook. But we actually have the Baja nose with the big glass globe early headlights. So we'll decide on that. But that car next, we're going to fix the rocker panels where the A-pillars come down into the heater channels and then get it on the ground. We're going to see that lowering setup and how Second. low it is. Not tomorrow. What do you think? Maybe next week? Yeah, probably next week. Yeah. As right. long, whenever you have the time. Because I know you're kind of... Yeah, you're three days at the beach. But busy. <laughs> summertime in the desert. Background, you know. He's very busy. <laughs> Another new build. Yeah, we're working. Yeah. Done. See you soon.